I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. It's February, so you know what that means. We gotta get ready for the 2019 New York Toy Fair. My dolls need some stuff for travel. Don't worry, we got you covered. Thank you for choosing My Froggy Stuff for all of your doll travel needs. This airline is equipped with exits in the front and the back. Store your luggage in the overhead compartments and smaller luggage underneath the chair. The in-flight movie today will cover topics from a doll passport to a doll airport. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a hat box purse for a doll using fabric, plastic bottle caps, felt, elastic cord, charms, trim, leather cord or ribbon, plastic beads, a needle and thread or a sewing machine, and glue. I start by finding two bottle caps that are the same size and color. Using the lid as a guide, I cut a small circle of fabric, apply a thin layer of glue, then glue it to the circle of fabric. If the fabric is thin, I put a circle of felt underneath. Begin gluing down the sides, measure and cut a strip of fabric that has the same width as the side of the bottle cap with a seam allowance on both sides. Fold over the sides, using a needle and thread, neatly stitch down both sides, or I could use a straight stitch on a sewing machine. I glue the strip around the side of the bottle cap. I can add trim if I like. Repeat for the other bottle top, put the bottle caps together, Glue on a leftover piece of the strip to connect the two. Cut a small loop of elastic. Glue it to the top, adding a bead for decoration. Glue another bead to the other side so that the elastic can be stretched over to close the top. Cut a piece of leather or ribbon. Glue the ends to the top to make a handle. I can add charms to the handle for decoration. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a wallet for a doll using scrapbook paper, printables from our blog, a marker, stickers, charms, jump rings, Mod Podge, recycled paperboard, and glue. I start by printing out printables from our blog. And if we needed them to be a little smaller, we can always adjust the size in our printer settings. Then cut them out, glue the front and back of the dollar bills together, glue the credit cards onto paperboard, Cut them out, round off the corners, on the back, draw a line with a marker to make credit cards and IDs. After cutting out the checks, stack them, run a glue stick over the top edge so that it is just enough to hold the checks together. Cut a piece of scrapbook paper that is the same width, place the checks inside and fold it over. Apply more glue to the top, then glue them into the fold to make a checkbook where the checks can actually be removed. Take the cutouts for the passport, fold them in half, use a little glue on the spine of the inside sheet to glue them together. Trim the edges if needed to complete the passport. Take scrapbook paper using one of the cards as a guide, flip the scrapbook paper so the good side is facing down, fold it over so you can see just a little of the card. Cut a little past the fold to leave a small ledge on the bottom. Place the card inside, cut it leaving a little on both sides. Gently fold over the sides, making sure the card can be removed with ease. Unfold and cut off the bottom corner squares. Repeat to make more. Make one that's long enough to fit one of the dollars. However, this time I fold over the top edge leaving a small amount of the dollar bill showing from the other side. Trim off the corner squares, glue down the top tab, take a piece of scrapbook paper, 
Fold over one edge, then with the good side facing up, apply glue to the bottom tab, then glue it near the fold. Put glue on the side tabs, then fold it over and glue into place, creating a pocket to hold the card. Repeat, overlapping them slightly, leaving a little space. Glue the pocket for the money to the side. Trim off the excess paper, leaving a border going all the way around. So like the first side, they can be folded back, taking care to leave enough space at the top for the top of the card. Flip it over to the back, cut off the corner squares, glue them down, cut and glue another piece of scrap of paper on top, flip it over and fold in half, place the doll cards and money inside to make the wallet. And to help it last a little bit longer, I am going to lightly cover it with a layer of Mod Podge, taking care not to glue the pockets shut. Once dried, the glue gives it a texture and feel similar to vinyl. I can add stickers for a little more detail, and for a fun extra touch, we found these key-shaped charms at the craft store. Place one on a jump ring, along with a charm, then close it up to make keys on a keychain. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make a suitcase for a doll using a pencil box for an 18 inch doll or a soap holder for a 12 inch. Sponge rollers, stickers, buttons. I start by removing the foam from the roller. Apply a generous amount of glue to the back of your pencil case. Push the long end of the roller into the glue. Once it's dried, turn it over. Glue buttons to the bottom for wheels. Apply stickers to the top. And for a 12 inch doll, I would do it the same way, only I'm going to use a soap holder. And you're done. Happy crafting! going to make a doll airport in a homemade scrapbook for a fun and easy to store project. Using poster board, printables from our blog myfoggystuff.blogspot.com, scrapbook paper, craft foam, cardboard, and glue. I start by taking a piece of poster board. I get most of my poster board at the dollar store for 50 cents. It is 22 by 28 inches. I fold it in half to make a crease, cut along the crease to make two 22 by 14 inch poster boards. Fold each poster board in half, stack them one on top of the other, lining up the folded edge. Use glue to glue the two poster boards together to make the pages of the scrapbook. Add more poster board for more pages to expand the book. Now let's make our first page in the scrapbook. I glue down a wood grain scrapbook paper on one side. I allowed the paper to go past the fold. Then I added a faded blue on the other side. I glue a border across the bottom. I used black on the wood grain side and a metallic paper on the blue. I print printables from our blog. This one shows the arrivals and departures of the flights. Want to take a trip to New Darlene's, anyone? And at the bottom, I have a few airport signs. I carefully cut them out and glue them to the top of the blue wall. I take a printable for the inside of an airport. 
I glue more than one together to extend the floor, cut it down to the size I need, and glue it onto the side of the wood wall. Then to cover the space, I add an airport sign to the top. Then when we stand it up, it makes a scene. Just right for the dolls. Cut a piece of cardboard that is 11 by 6 inches. Cut cardboard for the bottom, top, and sides. Cover with scrapbook paper. I covered most with a light gray, then covered one of the long sides black. Glue them together to make a box that can be used as a counter. I use a printable to display the name of the airline. Add our printable doll laptop to make the ticket counter. Turn the page, glue down scrapbook paper. I chose to use a blue tile. I print out the double doors and some signs. Glue two sets of doors side by side, the signs across the top, and trim it all in black to make the airport train. Turn the page. I glue down a white brick for a little texture, cut black paper, glue it across the bottom. From our printables, I print out both parts of our airport scene, airport signs, and the window. Cut them out, glue the printables together, glue them onto the poster board. I use a sign to cover the gap to make the gate where they can board their flight. Oh, it looks like the plane's not here yet so it looks like he has to wait. But where? Using a doll as a guide, I sketch a rectangle, then add a triangle to one side. Cut it out. Use it as a pattern to make more. I cut six. Place the doll on a rectangle of cardboard so that the top of her head is a little past the cardboard. Make a mark behind the knee. Trim the cardboard at the mark. Bend it to make a seat for the doll. Cut the top corners at an angle. I made a total of four. Then I cut 12 rectangles of cardboard. Now that I have all of the cardboard cut, begin covering them with paper. Cut craft foam for cushions. Glue them to the cardboard. Glue on the sides. After gluing on two sides, I glue another seat right next to it. Add another side, glue rectangles on the bottom, add armrest so the dolls have somewhere to sit while they wait for their flight. And I made my chairs pretty simple so they wouldn't take up too much time when I made more. But I do want the craft foam to be a little thicker so I remove the headrest and add a few more layers of craft foam which I think helps to give it that little pop. Turn the page. I cover one side with a blue scrapbook paper and the other with a light gray. Print out printables for the inside of the cabin. Glue them onto the top of the blue side. Put a picture on the wall for a large TV so they can enjoy an in-flight movie. I'm using one of our postcards and on our blog you can find our Monster High printable TV. Cut and fold pleats into a piece of scrapbook paper. Glue it onto the poster board to make a curtain that leads to the front of the plane. We take the chairs that we made earlier, glue small TV screens on the back, fold over and glue a piece of scrapbook paper, trim off the excess, cut a small rectangle from the end, fold over and crease one edge, glue the folded edge to the back of a chair, fold it up, then glue a small rectangle of craft foam right above the paper, making sure to only apply the glue to one end so the tray can be lowered and raised. Cut a rectangle of craft foam, apply glue down one side, across the bottom, then up the other side to make a pocket to hold our printable magazines and newspapers. So when the dolls are sitting on the plane, they can reach for a magazine behind the chairs and have a lap tray that can hold very lightweight items. Turn the page, and this one is simple. We are just going to glue down a cloud scrapbook paper or use printables from our blog, glue it to the poster board to make a sky background. And I chose to add some water to the bottom so it looks like the dolls are flying over the ocean. Turn the page, 
I print out our baggage claim scene and a few signs, glue it to the poster board. I put scrapbook paper along the bottom that reminds me of the floor. Then trying to mimic some of the items I see in the picture, I put a wood grain scrapbook paper on the sides, glue a few signs across the top to help the dolls find their luggage. And after all this work, let's flip the page one more time. Cover the poster board with scrapbook paper. I used a soft teal on one side, used white paper for trim. I continued with the teal and white to the other side. Then I used scrapbook paper that looked like the beach to cover the rest of the poster board. Add a border of white paper across the top. Pleat some paper just as we did earlier. Glue it to the side of the beach scene to make curtains. Cut wood grain scrapbook paper and glue it to the wall. Take the counter that we made earlier, lay it flat, add bedding. Then for a personal touch, place a family vacation photo above the bed to make a relaxing hotel room. Close the book and decorate the outside however you like. I chose to cover some leftover poster board with scrapbook paper then glued it to the front to add support and remind me of what this book is all about. Seven different scenes that allow our dolls to travel through the airport, across the ocean, for the perfect vacation. And when playtime is over, we can store everything away until next time. And you're done. Happy crafting! For joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye